Hey guys, well, on Saturdays, I like to go a little bit later, make sure I've eaten something beforehand. I view this as my um, focus day, so I'll do a longer workout, something that I wouldn't have time for during the week, and then I really try and hammer whatever muscle group I'm targeting that day, um, and really just obliterate it as much as I can. And so, how do you guys think about on weekends or different times throughout the week about how you focus on which muscle group you want to target and make sure you're really getting a really good workout? Um, I'm curious on how you guys think about that. So, I'm going to head to the gym now and then get a leg stay in. I'll record as much as I can and then look to post this video in the next couple of days. If you're going to eat before you go work out, one of the things I always like to do is load up on some, uh, some forms of energy that are going to give me... Uh, more extended energy and some things that are going to be more of a fast release so I'll usually do a combination of oatmeal um, and a little bit of like brown sugar or something to sweeten it a little bit. One, I just think from a taste perspective it tastes really good so I enjoy eating it and then the other thing too is the sugar obviously gives you quick energy but the oatmeal uh, and I just use regular you know, steel cut oats. Um, you can get them at Aldi's for like a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy five. And it's really easy to throw together, you know, boiling water on the stove, throw them in, you're done in like three minutes. And now I'm gonna go take advantage of that while it's kind of hitting in its peak, um, its peak time for the body. Back with another leg day workout. So this one I wanted to get high volume in. Um, with the weekend, I figured I had a little bit more time. I was trying to take advantage of that. So starting off with a regular barbell squat. And you'll notice I have my shoes off on the ground there. So for me, I like to have as much feel as possible with the ground. Um, and I have normal running shoes that I will normally wear to the gym. Uh, if you have workout shoes specifically made for weightlifting, I would suggest wearing those. But as I didn't at uh, the time I was working out here, I just decided to take them off. Um, the reason you don't want to wear running shoes is usually they're a little bit more cushioned, and so that can just put your ankles and knees in a bad position. Up next, so for the last one, it's just a burnout set. So started with the normal working weight and then just progressively drop down as you get through the workout. So really just putting up as much blood into the quads and the, back and the, the legs as possible. of this burnout I was really just focusing on pulsing at the bottom that way to really reinforce the stretch and get my body used to being at the most extended portion of the lift. Up next is the leg press and for this one I wanted to focus more on the quads so I brought my feet a little bit closer together and really as I'm going to the bottom really focusing on um, forcing the uh, driving really through the heel and through the ankle that way I'm really focusing on the quads for this entire lift. Stand tall. dumbbell stiff legged deadlift and for this one really focusing on the hamstrings so as I'm coming up I'm almost squeezing the glutes and hamstrings in order to extend versus just using my lower back to stand up and I find that this one is nice because as you use a stiff leg uh, you can get a little bit I find I can get a little bit better my muscle connection on my hamstrings and then to finish out the workout, what I wanted to do is really some targeted hamstrings and quad work. So up first is, and I super of these two lifts, but up first is just leg extensions. Um, you can do single leg, I did double leg here. I find it's a little bit easier to balance this way, and it doesn't hurt my knees as much. But this way, you're really just hammering out some more hamstring and quad uh, work at the end of the workout. And like I said, I superseted this with seated leg curls, so just counterbalancing the uh, quad work with some more hamstring work as well. So that's the workout. If you guys enjoyed it, hope you uh, give this a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more content. Thanks.